What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on pig wheels. So I usually skate Spitfires or Bones and they're hard. They're harder than these. I usually skate wheels that are around 100A and these are just a little bit softer than that. Usually I don't have luck with wheels that are a little bit softer. I, I usually, like if I'm going to cruise, I'll skate really soft wheels or if I'm gonna skate a skate park or skate street and try to do tricks, I'll skate really hard wheels. But I usually don't have a lot of luck with wheels that are right in between. I actually filmed a video at Woodland, which is the skate park I normally skate at in my videos. It's a concrete park that's kind of rough. And I was so negative in that video that I actually deleted it because there's enough negativity in the world right now. But I decided to give them a second chance. So I've actually taken them to this wooden park and these wheels are perfect for skating wooden ramps. So you could slide with these wheels, but you don't slide as smoothly as you would with a harder wheel and you can roll over stuff, but you're just not gonna roll over things as smoothly as you would with a soft wheel. So it's kind of like good at everything, but not great at anything. And it's kind of like a kit lens, you know, if you've ever had a kit lens compared to a prime lens, that's kind of what you're dealing with. In photography, it's kind of like having a kit lens. It's not really good at anything, but it's kind of good at everything. So that's what wheels that are in the 90s on the durometer scale are like. So most of the wheels that Pig Wheels makes are 101A, all the new releases. But these are a little bit older also when you start to put color in the wheels like black or blue or red or any kind of dye and they're not white bleached urethane it kind of softens the wheel a little bit i always feel like even bones if they're not like the solid white bones they just seem to be a little bit grippier for some reason so the problem with these wheels at woodland is on rough ground they're really slow they don't roll over rough ground, even as good as a harder wheel like Bones. They really are terrible on rough ground. But when you go to a wooden skate park or something that's really smooth, these perform extremely well. They even slide perfect on wood. I enjoyed everything about these wheels at the wooden skate park and they perform decent at a smooth concrete skate park, but rough ground, they're just terrible. So I got these wheels for free from the Brenton on Instagram. Check him out. I really appreciate them, but I wouldn't suggest this wheel for somebody who's just looking to start skateboarding. I would probably send you towards Spitfire or Bones because this is an average wheel. It is not a really bad wheel and it's not a really good wheel. It's just right in between. I'm afraid to cut my hair. You know, I'm letting it grow out because I feel like I can skate better with longer hair. I feel like the nerve endings in my hair actually help me balance and it just feels good in the summer to have long hair. I don't really show my hair a lot in videos. I feel like I showed my hair a little bit more back in the older videos when I didn't have a beard um, and I looked like a kid. I know I look like 40 years old with this beard, but I've only been out of college for like two years now, almost exactly two years. 